Today, I'm gonna talk about how I set up my screens in OnQ for easy video impeachments. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you will know that there has been a definite lack of updates. Uh, I haven't posted any videos in, I think, months at this point, and I apologize for that. Big part of that is that we've just been unusually busy. Normally things kind of slow down towards the holidays. Uh, people don't really like to put on jury trials around the holidays, and so my workload usually tends to lighten up. However, this year has been really different. At least the past couple of years it's been this way too, where trials are running right up to a holiday or going over holiday weekends, which is something that I used to never see. I'm just coming off of two back-to-back -back trials where I've been hot seating and I spent a lot of time in both of those trials doing video impeachments. Now, both of those trials, neither of them were all that exhibit intensive. They weren't that document intensive. It wasn't the typical type of trial that I normally get on where it's like 600 to 1,000 exhibits per side. Uh, these were smaller trials exhibit-wise, but there was a lot of potential video impeaching that needed to be done. So. Because I've been doing so much t uh, video impeaching, I wanted to go over how I can do it in a way that makes it the easiest for you in terms of bouncing around back and forth between the video impeachment and just the rest of the cross exam. And so now I'm showing you, let's go over to my computer and I'll show you what it looks like over there. And this is probably what it looks like for you when you're setting up your OnQ uh, for use during a trial. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to use notebooks. Notebooks are not something that you have to do, but I like to make notebooks for the different witnesses that I'm gonna be cross-examining. And so I here I have a very short list. The attorney, the associate gave me an email with like, here's the six or seven things that you might use, as well as some of the areas that are ultimately gonna be called out. I save those as save stages. Uh, I don't always present the save stage, but I like to have them there, so that way, as I'm getting ready to show the next exhibit, I can know what is the area that the attorney is likely gonna to wanna to, to look at. So I have save stages for all the exhibits that I know where the attorney's gonna go. And then I open up the document section, so now I can see all the exhibits that are here on the left-hand side. I have kind of the things that have been spotlighted to me by the associate and then I have my main work area. The other thing that I will do is I'll come up to this view menu and I'll add the transcript viewer. And that way I can, on the right-hand side, have the transcript available to me. So that way as we're going through and showing exhibits to the witness, we can go through this list here from either my presentation notebook or we can go from the main document section itself. And then if they say something that, uh, is inconsistent with their prior uh, statement, I can usually use the go-to box here to go to a specific page really quickly. Or if I have no idea, like I did in my last two trials, where in the deposition the attorney was gonna go. I had zero outlines to work off of, which is hard on your hot seater, by the way. Uh, some of the keywords I could just use to kind of maybe get myself a little bit of a head start because they would always give me the citation at the way end, which is also really hard on the hot seater. But in any event, I'd be able to find it. And then let's say I'm talking about page 37, lines eight uh, through 14. I can have it on the right-hand side, right-click, send to live, play it right away. And then once I'm done with that, the impeachment has been perfected. That's the question you're asked and the answer you gave. Yes, it is. Now I'm still, I don't have to go to another view. I don't go to the edit designations view. I don't have to go to annotate documents view. I'm still in my notebooks and documents view so I can see all the exhibits that I was planning or on using or potentially using and I don't have to skip a beat. Now this is a method that works out really well if you don't get uh, a lot of lead time or any lead notice at all in terms of where are the potential impeachment areas. Some attorneys will have very detailed outlines with every potential impeachment already laid out for you. Uh, some give you absolutely nothing, which is what I got in the last two trials. And so even if you're in that situation, the attorney, make sure you let them know that, you know what, we're doing this off the fly. If people are talking over each other or if the, the sync isn't exactly right, uh, there's nothing that I can do about it on the fly if you haven't let me know ahead of time. If you let me know ahead of time, I can make sure everything's perfect or as perfect as I can get it. But uh, when we're on the fly, we're at the mercy of the video deposition sync. As long as they're aware of that, this is a way that you can get through that cross-examination. So that's what I've been doing. So if you have any more questions about that, how I set things up, why I'm using notebooks versus presentations, things like that, put those questions down in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys about it more down there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one.